Hello champions. Welcome to the next lecture on the memory based question. Today I will explain you the part 4 related to the CSRNet July 2025. You can watch the first three parts that I uploaded on my YouTube channel part 1, part 2 and part 3. Apart from them there are many other lectures which are available for you so that you can crack your examinations in a simple manner. Now let's start with the first question. This is related to the complex analysis and the function is of entire. It's a very very simple question and remember students if you already watch my this PY question of the entire function lecture. What I told you whenever there is a question of the entire function you can choose the value of the f always from either one constant function e raised to power z sine of z cos of z or any linear combination of these functions. Based on this you can easily discard the options and get the right answer. But you can see this is a memory based questions. I never know whether they are asking about which one is the true statement or which one is the false statement because these are memory based questions. So I can tell you which one is a correct which one is a false. Accordingly we can get the answer. So let's start with the firstly D options. F is a non constant. So you can choose any of the non constant functions. So the easiest way I can choose F is e raised to power j which is non constant function. Then what is the value of the f of 1 by z which is defined as e raised to power 1 over z. Clearly say z is equal to 0 is my essential singularity. Fine but the option say it's a pole. So that option is my false statement. Fine or you can choose any other example. You can choose any as a linear combinations like 1 fine or you can choose it as a uh, polynomial also. So I can choose any function let's say it's a 2 plus j fine. So clearly say this is a non constant function. Then what is the value of the f of 1 by j. So that number will be j divided by 2 j plus 1. Clearly say j is equal to 0 is not pole. Fine but he said pole that's why the C or D option is my false state. Is it okay? Now look at the C options. F of 1 by Z is a removable singularity. Which things come in your mind when we are talking about the removable singularity? Always sign Z over Z. So I can choose. What is the meaning of the removable singularity? The removable singularity at Z is equal to 0. That means when you take an limit as z approaches 0 this will give you the finite answer. Any finite answer if you get that means it is a removable singularity fine or you can see about my lecture related to the singularity py question of the singularity. Now how you can define that? So if I choose the function is sin z over z and it is a 1 provided z is my 0 and provided z is non-zero. Fine. This has a removable singularity. Yes. Fine. Z is equal to 0 is my removable singularity. Then f of z is my constant. That is wrong. If you choose as the f of z that means I can replace 1 by z to be the z. So it is a sign 1 over z and whatever the other options. Clearly say the function is my not constant. Fine. So the c option is also my false statement based on these simple observations. Now look at the A options. f of z is equal to f of z plus 1. So can you think about any of the function? 1 is not 1 is satisfied but it's a it's a constant. z z is not satisfied. e raised to power z is not satisfied. sin and cos. What does what does the meaning if f of z is f of z plus 1? That means f is my periodic functions. So if it is a periodic function what is the period? Period is my 1. Fine. So if you simply choose the function f is sine of 2 pi z then can you calculate the value of the f of z plus 1? f of z plus 1 will be sine of 2 pi plus 2 pi z. This will give you again as sine 2 pi z which is defined as f of z. 
it satisfied my given requirements but the function is my not constant fine the first option is also false statement so the only left option is a b which is a correct statement if they are talking about the correct but let's let's see whether it's a correct or the false the b option says f of z is equal to f of z plus 1 which is equal to f of z plus iota what does it implies this implies f is my periodic functions fine and then what is a period can you find the period so clearly say if you look for the first and second that the period will be one if you look for the second and the third the period is my one minus iota or you can say iota minus one and if you look for the first and the third case the period is my iota is it okay now clearly say the period one minus iota or iota minus one which is basically my linear which is my basically the linear combinations of one and iota fine so that means i can simply say the period in general the period is my a of 1 plus b of iota fine that means if you look for the complex plane the one that means that the function is periodic on the real axis iota that is a fun is periodic on the y axis and a plus iota b that means the function is periodic on these segments as well fine what is the meaning of that this implies if i write again for you this implies the function is periodic the because it is on the complex complete the function is periodic on the c the function is entire function is periodic on the c that means the function is my bounded on the c once the function is my bounded once the function is my entire then by using the leibniz theorem what can you say that means the function is constant so once the function is constant the b option is my correct statement so if in the examination because these are memory based questions if somebody ask you which one of the following is a false statement then a c and d are the right answers if they are ask you about what is a true statement then b option is the right answer of this so so i hope you can really enjoy this question how you can solve the problem with the help of these simple examples for more detail again i can suggest to you you can watch my this entire function lecture once again agar aapne abhi tak nahi dekha you can watch it definitely you will learn it more chaliye look at this next one which is defined as u of dt is equal to u of xx clearly say this equation is my wave equation fine so once you know it's a wave equation you can find the value of the c which is defined as 1 then you have defined the function u partial derivative of u with respect to t i call as a g this function is my f then your target is to find the values at the 1 comma 1 or if somebody will ask you find the value of the t comma 2 or find the values at the 2 comma 2 and so on so i will tell you the general way remember this number is my x this number is my t it's a very simple if you already watch my this lecture on the wave equations py question or the wave equation you can solve this question in the examination in a very simple manner when what i told you whenever it's a x and t you always try to compute x minus ct x plus ct values what is the value of the x minus ct the number 1 is x t is my 1 c is my 1 this number is my 0 this number is my 2 therefore the value of the u11 it is my the function value of the f at these two points f of 0 f of 2 plus 1 over 2 into c integration from 0 to 2 of the gx so g will be my 1 plus x now can you solve this integration f of 0 is my 1 f of 2 will be my 5 over 2 what is the value of the c c is my 1 integration will be x plus x square over 2 from 0 to 2 so that number 6 by 2 is 3 
plus half 2 plus 2 that's a 4 minus 0 so it will be my 2 3 plus 2 is my 5 is the right answer of the problem. fine now if somebody will ask you find the value of 3 comma 2 then what is the value of the x minus ct and x plus ct 3 minus c is a 1 3 plus is a 5 therefore you can calculate the values of the f at the point 1 f at the point 5 and integrate from 1 to 5 what is the value of the f of what is the value of the f of 1 f of 1 will be 2 f of 5 will be 26 and you can integrate from 5 to 1 then after the calculation whatever the answer you have obtained is the required option similarly you can compute as a 2 comma 2 or whatever the options they have given to you in the paper so let me know how many of you have corrected both the answers like a b c d and the answer is 5 or the required answer. let me know how many of you have corrected both the options in the both the question in the examination we will see the next lecture very soon till then you can share this video with your friends and you can like and comment on the videos as well best of luck students happy learning always